Hello and welcome to Meow Mix, a Carolina Panthers podcast. My name is Jerry. Steven is unable to make it as he is currently having family obligations. While my daughter is napping, I am going to record this quick hit here. Dante Jackson just signed a three-year, $35 million, $11.7 million guaranteed contract with the Panthers. We're bringing him back. I'm a little surprised by this. I thought we would be more going to Stephon Gilmore considering, you know, He's a little bit more advanced in age, and I thought Jackson was going to try to get a little bit more than this. Uh, $11.7 million guaranteed, three years, $35, $11 million a year. I like it. Good deal. Uh, C.J. Henderson still on the roster. Dante Jackson, or J.C. Horn. Then you have Keith Taylor, Troy Pride. The cornerback room is rounding out nicely. Hopefully, C.J. Henderson, Keith Taylor, and Troy Pride can grow. And Dante Jackson played really well last year up until that toe injury kind of derailed his season. I mean, he was playing pretty lights out for a while. Not as good as J.C. Horn in his first couple games, but I really like the signing. Really shores up that cornerback room. I mean, since Watson's fallen through, this front office has made some really nice signings. Um, Even after we signed off yesterday, they signed center... Bradley Bozeman to a one-year deal, probably the top center in free agency. Get Pat Elfline off that starting lineup because he doesn't belong there. I mean, they're going to have to do something at left tackle. There's still rumors that Terrell Armstead is looking at the Panthers. But, I mean, you got Austin Corbett at one of the guards. Now you have Bradley Bozeman. You got Taylor Moten at the right tackle position. Then you can have Brady Christensen either at left tackle, depending on how the draft falls or if they get to Arn Armstead, or you can have a move to guard. I like this. This They're actually doing what they said they were going to do and shore up that offensive line. And then they also signed punter Johnny Hecker to a three-year, $5 million contract. Four-time Pro Bowler, 32 years old. It's going to be nice to have that punting option, especially if the offense can't get off the field like they struggled the past few years. Being able to punt them, pin them deep, and hey, maybe even some trick plays. He's thrown, been able to throw a couple uh, touchdowns before in his past. Like the signing. I mean, nothing extravagant. It's punt our money. And congratulations, it's more money than I'll ever see. But, you know, good job on him. Just this offseason... Minus the Watson failing, which I think will probably end up being beneficial in the long run to us, especially since he didn't go to the Falcons or Saints. Shoring up nicely. Dante Jackson again signed three-year, $35 million. That's that's a decent starting salary. That's a second, second cornerback type of money. And I think he has potential to be a really good cornerback if he can, you know, continue on his trajectory that he had at the beginning of the season before his toe injury. Just really liking what they're doing this offseason. I know this is only going to be about five minutes. It's not going to be very long, but yeah, really good. Um, Dante Jackson, again, he he did struggle down the stretch. Uh, PFF had him better at run defense than at coverage. But again, that toe injury really derailed his season. Very fast, a little smaller, 5'10". So hopefully, you know, him and J.C. Horn will be locked down corners and really free up our pass rush. Because right now, that's what I think they're going to have to go towards with the rest of the offseason, whether draft or someone, because Brian Burns can't do it alone. Frankie Louvu has been good in spot duty. Etor hasn't shown that much of a pass rush. Better against the run. And again, Bradley, Bozeman, they're a great pickup. I, overall, PFF has him as a 73. 73 against pass blocking, 70 against run blocking. And he really is going to be calling the plays out there. I wish it was longer than one year, but I, he may get paid next year. We, we'll see. But he'll be able to really organize the new offensive line, tell them where to go, what's the blocking set up. Love this. I mean, six-round pick, 2018, 
really kind of made his bones, grinded it out, became a starter. Like I said, best free agent center in the league right now for free agency. So, not a great one. Love this. I This offseason, for a Panthers fan, is really kind of shaping up nicely. It's not all Temple players, all, you know, Baylor players. And I actually see what they're doing, unlike last year when they signed Alf Line and Cam Irving for day one. They waited. They got some good quality players here. Congratulations. We may have an offensive line for the first time in like four years, five years. Um, let us know what you're thinking uh, down below on the comments. We want to thank everyone for listening. If you like the show, please let your friends know. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Meow Mix Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at mailbag at meowmixpodcast.com. And if you leave us a five-star review with a comment on Apple Podcasts, We'll read it on the show.